Hello everyone. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Last time, our lesson was about the different classifications of angles, wherein we were able to classify angles as to um, acute, right, obtuse, um, straight, and or reflex angles. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly identify and recognize complementary and supplementary angles and accurately solve for the complement or supplement of a given angle. So what are complementary angles? So complementary angles are two angles, okay, two, two angles whose sum of measures is 90 degrees, okay, 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin, if we have two angles, kung i-add natin sila, uh, the sum is 90 degrees. So we call them complementary angles. In this example, angle BED, this one right here, BED, is a right angle. Bakit right angle? Kasi because of this small square na nandito. So it means the measure of angle BED is equal to 90 degrees. It can also be seen in the figure that the measure of angle BEC BEC, this angle right here, yan, plus, okay, plus the measure of angle CED, CED, this angle, okay, CED, kung i-add itong dalawang angle na ito, that is equal to the measure of angle BED, alright? So, again, angle BEC plus the measure of angle CED, Okay, is equal to the measure of this angle, okay, of this angle, which is 90 degrees. Therefore, angle BEC, BEC, and angle CED are called complementary angles. Complementary angles kasi um, their sum is equal to 90 degrees. Now, what are supplementary angles? Okay, kung ang complementary ay dalawang angles na kung i-add ay 90 degrees, ang supplementary angles naman ay dalawang angles na kung i-add ay maging 180 degrees. Okay, these are two angles whose sum of measures is 180 degrees. So, in the given example, we have um, the measure of angle ACB. We have ACB, this angle right here, okay? Plus, kasi sabi sum, so plus yan. So, plus the measure of angle BCD, BCD. So, this angle, yan, BCD. Kung i-add yung dalawa, that is equal to the measure of angle ACD, ACD. Big screen, that's the measure of this angle. Okay, and take note, as you can see here, angle ACD is a straight angle, and so therefore, that is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, yung straight angle is 180 degrees. Therefore, we can say that angle ACB and angle BCD are supplementary angles. Kasi silang dalawa, kung i-add, um, they are equal to 180 degrees. Okay, supplementary angles. Now, finding the complement or supplement of a given angle. How do we find the complement of an angle? How do we find the supplement of a given angle? To find the complement of a given angle, subtract, subtract the measure of the other angle to 90 degrees. And to find the supplement of a given angle, Subtract the measure of the other angle to 180 degrees. Examples. The complement of 30 degrees is 60 degrees. Bakit? Kasi 90 degrees minus 30 degrees equals 60 degrees. So what is the complement of 45 degrees? What is the complement of 45 degrees? Complement, huh? So therefore, to solve that, that would be 90 degrees minus 45 degrees, and that is 45 degrees. Right? Check mo nga kung tama. 45 degrees plus 45 degrees, that is equal to 90 degrees. So, they are complementary. Another example. The supplement of 100 degrees is 80 degrees. Bakit? 
180 degrees minus 100, 180 degrees minus 100 degrees is equal to 80 degrees. Okay, so they are supplementary angles. Again, the supplement of 100 is 80 degrees. What is the supplement of 20 degrees? What is the supplement of 20 degrees? So, that is 180 minus 20 degrees. That would be 160 degrees. Okay. So, the supplement of 20 degrees is 160 degrees. So, we say 20 degrees and 160 degrees are supplementary angles. Let's try this. Using the figure below, name a pair of complementary angles. Okay, this is the figure. Let's name a pair of complementary angles. Notice that angle ACE, I'm sorry, AEC, AEC, this angle right here, AEC, this is a right angle. And thus, bakit right angle yan? Wala namang small square yan kanina, ma'am. Uh, take note, this is a straight line. Okay? And it forms a straight angle. So, this is 180. Okay? If this is 90 degrees right here, 180 ito. So, 180 minus 90, this is also 90 degrees. Okay? We can form a pair of complementary angles by choosing a line segment in the interior of angle a E D. A E D. That will act like the shared side of these two complementary angles. Okay, so we are going to name a pair of complementary angles. Alright. So in the given figure we have here ray E B. This ray right here divides the right angle into two complementary angles. Okay. So we have here this angle and this angle. They are complementary based on the figure. So we have angle AEB and angle BEC. They are complementary angles. Why? Because their sum is 90 degrees. Okay. 90 degrees. Another example. In the figure below, the measure of angle DEC, DEC, we have DEC, is 75 degrees. Alright, this is 75 degrees. Now, find the measure of angle BEC. BEC, itong angle na ito, ano daw ang measurement niyan? Okay, anong hinahanap natin? The measure of angle BEC. Now, take note, this is a straight line forming a straight angle. And so, this angle measures 180 degrees. This is a right angle, so this is 90. So, kung 180 ito silang lahat, kung 90 ito, ibig sabihin ito, 90 din itong, itong part dito. Okay? 90 degrees din yan. Now, if this is 75, then the measure of angle BEC is 90 degrees. Measure of angle BEC is equal to 90 degrees minus 75 degrees. And that is equal to, what, 15 degrees. Okay, so 80, 90, yeah, 90 degrees, 15 degrees. Okay, kasi 15 degrees plus 75 degrees equals 90 degrees. Alright. Ang dali lang, di ba? <laughs> 